The 16 iconic rail cars that have been a fixture in the 200 North area for more than a decade are getting closer to disappearing into Hanford's history files. CH Toom Hill Plateau Remediation Company crews are readying the units for disposition using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding. But this extra stimulus money, it was able to expedite this project and in DOE's uh, trying to get this whole 200 North area closed down. These rail cars were a key part of getting them moved out so um, RL could get the 200 North area cleared. The 16 cars consist of 11 cask cars that were used to transport spent nuclear fuel, two tanker cars used to transport radiologically contaminated liquid waste, two locomotives, and a flat car for transporting miscellaneous materials. The rail cars are currently staged on the 212R rail spur in the 200 North area, where they have resided since railroad operations were suspended at the Hanford site in 1997. The rail cars were acquired in the 1940s and 1960s and generally supported the Hanford site mission by transporting fuel rods between the facilities. As you can see, we got a uh, concrete pumper truck and we're pumping a, a real wet slurry of grout into the rail cars and we're filling them up. Uh, what we're doing is we're uh, taking care of any water issues, we're macro encapsulating and reducing the right. dose so when we go to ship these cars, they uh, can Everything be shipped easily right. and uh, compliantly. The rail cars were first dry grouted to contain contaminated liquids present in the cars and now ch 2 Hill is grouting them in preparation for safe disposal at the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility. Preparations are also in progress for delivering two locomotives and two of the grouted cast cars to the B Reactor Museum site for preservation and display. The removal of the cars will reduce surveillance and maintenance costs on equipment that has been out of service for years.